Hi everyone, I'm Russ, and today we are playing LEGO 2K Drive on the Nintendo Switch. And yeah, we're just gonna compare the basic graphics, we're gonna get the first impressions, we're gonna see if the frame rate affects gameplay, all that fun stuff that you'll wanna know if you're buying it on the Nintendo Switch. Now, let's just press the play button. Cup Series Race, mini game. I don't wanna get right into the story because that's not what this is about. This is more about the overall gameplay style. So let's just, let's just play some races. We'll do C-Class because this is the first game. Now, one thing I have to mention about this game on switch is that it's only digital well you can buy it physical like i did but the thing is you're it's just a download code in the physical copy which is kind of weird I, I don't know why that's the case okay we are popping right in literally popping in the uh the, some of the textures aren't quite popped in fully and uh oh oh yeah i've watched some gameplay of this game on ps5 and like higher end pcs and it looks really great okay we are wow we are we're getting right into it so the, the game seems to be running at a, a somewhat locked 30 frames per second. Wow. Okay. First of all, the gameplay is pretty fun. Like my first impressions is pretty fun. I've, I'm literally because this is on the Switch. It obviously doesn't look as good. Like we don't have nearly nearly the same amount of textures. Some minimal lighting details. You can tell that there is definitely some dynamic resolution going on when there's a lot happening. But you know what? I'm I'm not seeing many frame dips. There's a lot of things that could have just been made frame dips. And uh, yeah, it looks good. Looks to be running pretty smooth. So it's pretty interesting. We're just going back and forth between these cars. It seems like you get power-ups. It's like, I don't know, a Lego version of Mario Kart, uh, which is exactly what it's trying to achieve. It's more open than Mario Kart. Like it's a lot less linear, I guess you could say. But you know what? If I hadn't looked at the other version of the game, I'd say that this looks pretty good. It's running fairly well. Like there's no noticeable reason why someone who doesn't care about graphics shouldn't get this. The physics are great. Surprised how well the physics are just kind of smooth. Like obviously, the physics are the same on all versions of the game but i like it i like the physics the, the the wheel suspension on the on the ground when i'm racing is pretty cool you can tell there's a clear decrease in textures and lighting though that is very clear do i have to do it again or something or big buttle city let's go abduction 500 runaway or about let's do buttle loops we'll do c class again you can play split screen on the switch version as well that's one thing that you may like to do pretty much every lego game has local split screen because you know it's like Chances are, if you have a little brother or an older brother or sister, then, you know, you'll have someone to play with. Or maybe a parent wants to play this game. And, uh, yeah, you'll always have someone to play with if you want to on the same screen. Oh, we're interested. Oh, yeah, okay, there's assets popping in. Really interested to see how this game looks on the on the PS5 side by side. And, yeah, if you want to find out how that looks, you guys can always check out my main channel where I will be going right in depth into all of that stuff. Um and comparing it because over i mean it looks kind of everything just looks a little flat now i'm not sure if i mentioned this but i got the awesome edition which is why i have it just a little bit early this game officially comes out on may 19th but i got it on the 16th because i paid 40 more dollars and uh yeah they really uh they really got me whoa look at all those things just flying around now is there oh there is a boost oh, okay i don't think i mentioned the boost once but yes you can boost with b got it all right that's good to know and it's something i didn't know maybe i maybe i would have known it if I had played the story mode first, which is what I'll be doing next. But not in this video. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. I'm getting the hang of this. Getting the hang of the drifting, 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 and then boost. Oh yeah, okay. We got another lap. One more to go. Okay, so there's a lot of destructible things. There's a lot of things just flying around. My guess is that all of the things that are flying, all the Lego pieces that are just being flown around, there's probably less being flown around in the Switch version. They probably decrease the amount of things that you can break. But but overall, the gameplay style, it's all here. Like, it's all here, supposedly. I mean, obviously, the gameplay mechanics are the same. They're not doing the old brand new game for a lower end portable console. Oh, there we go. So those question blocks are like power ups. Whoa, first place, baby. And everyone, if you're liking the video so far, make sure you like and subscribe. We are so close to 4,000 hours watch time and not as close to 1,000 subscribers. So let's unlock some of these channel features and also some monetization. That would be epic. But let's do drive through Derby. We will do B class or C class again. Oh yeah, look at, look at that. Oh man, E. Oh chicken boom oh and uh whoa there's a chicken car and a hot dog car in front of me <laughs> those are pretty sweet oh you can jump 
Oh gosh, I didn't even realize you could jump. Man, jumping in racing games must be a thing now. If you guys have seen uh, the the most recent kart racing game that's come out, that's not this, is uh, Disney Speedstorm. They also in included a jumping mechanic in there in in that in that game, and I thought it went worked really well. Oh, I just jumped over a boost pad. That was probably the worst time to jump. But yeah, the jump a jumping mechanic just you know it's not taken advantage of in the big kart racers. I mean, I guess you get a little jump when you drift in like Mario Kart and Crash Team Racing, but not like a full fled jump button what the heck just happened there boost pad there we go yeah there's a lot going on there's a lot going on and you know what it's running pretty smoothly as i've said i'm impressed with how smooth it's running oh yeah get bricked gotta beat the chicken gotta beat the chicken oh gosh oh oh there we go come on come on come on full boost yeah there we go oh man these uh these lego mechanics now we got the menu here gameplay controls there's a few configurations that you can that you can have now let's go to the there's a play with friends option oh this is the oh shoot i shouldn't have clicked that this is the online mode i believe you can play with up to six different people online and look at this we got a switch exclusive the local wireless now that is a mode i'm just gonna go into it just really quick just to see you know if there's anyone in my house that's that's playing it as well there's not anyways yes you can play local wireless which is just something that you don't see in that many games especially for like a switch port like this you don't see you know switch exclusive local wireless play options on the main screen that's just that's just not right we also got unky's emporium i don't know what that is i clicked it i don't know if i should maybe i shouldn't have drive pass oh okay right right so this is the this is the shop yes there are microtransactions in this game as sad as that is to say especially considering i literally just paid you know 140 dollars for the base game and now i can now i can do like 40 dollars for 3600 coins what's the average price here no this guy is worth over 40 dollars or i guess around 40 dollars what no way that is absurd what in the world is this okay what's the drive pass the drive okay wait wait we got some official lego city carts and official lego creator carts oh wait a second wait i'm wrong here i was looking at coins okay so these are coins these are i think the are these must be in-game dollars. Oh yeah, because I have 72. Okay, sorry guys, I freaked out for no reason. Um, but yeah, there's this is a very similar type of thing we got we've been we've had going on for things with things like Fortnite. Anyways, then there's also the garage. Let's look into the garage. The screen's been black for literally like three minutes. I think the game crashed. All right, we try again. All right, let's try to open the garage again. There we go. For some reason, it crashed on me last time or just froze. No, it's gonna happen again. Okay, it's literally happening again. I I think I literally can not leave oh this is ridiculous okay my guess is i haven't unlocked the feature because i haven't played story mode but it doesn't make sense that it's just freezing on me that is either a bug or i i don't know so if you have the switch version or maybe it's all versions if you haven't played the story mode or whatever do that first i guess all right let's play a cup series we will do the big bottle county cup class c hint dodge the ufo lasers anyways yeah sorry i couldn't show the garage if you, any of you wanted to see the garage on the on the switch once again just check out my main channel russ vandy and i'm sure i'll have footage of it there if that's what you want to see yes we once again get a ton of pop in while it's going over the map all right here we go starting off and there's stuff flying all around the stage all right i'm getting a hang of this now now there are items as well just like mario kart and pretty much every kart racer that exists now i like the transform mechanic that's something we haven't seen in many games except for you know the biggest one mario kart is what i'm referencing yeah we got the big boat now spider attack Whoa, that was close. Oh, dodge the UFO lasers. What the heck? Whoa, oh, boost off the top of these. Oh, we got some air. Oh, yeah. I don't know what this button does. Oh, what the heck? I guess I teleported somewhere. Teleport to second place? That doesn't seem fair. We got a big boost and a jump. Oh, yeah, and splash. And uh, we continue on, we continue on, we continue on. All right, I wouldn't say it's a locked 30, but I would say that it's a consistent 30. Not locked, consistent. Whoa! Like there. Oh, yep. There we go. Like you're seeing it now in the frame rate a little bit, but I mean, it is doing it is doing really well. Taking in the fact that this is on the Switch, an open world racing game, it's not doing bad at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's got a plane. He's just driving. Casually driving. All right. Hit him with the rockets. Oh, I almost did that in first place. All right. The cup continues. 
Also, something else I wanted to mention is you get a free Lego set if you buy it physical. The awesome edition physical, you get it. Free Lego set. Of course, the game's digital, and you can't return it if you wanted to, especially when you compare it to, like, you know, a PS5 version, or the Xbox One S, or Seri Seri Series S, or Series X. You can return those versions if you don't like it, or, you know, the game's not as fun as you hoped it was. You know what? The Switch fan base gets a little, uh, gets a little, gets a little played if they want to resell their physical game. Chances are this game's gonna be on sale fairly soon. If I know anything about LEGO games, LEGO licensed games, even 2K games, they will go on sale often. Like the fact that I paid 120 Canadian dollars for this today kind of makes me a little bit sad because I know that it's gonna go on sale this month probably. Like it's honestly insane how fast these type of games go on sale. Oh, there's a spider thing on me. It's kind of like Mario plus Rabbids. You guys know anything about Mario plus Rabbids? It's like $120 for the gold edition. And like in a month, that game went on sale because it's a Ubisoft game, really. Anyways, with Mario plus Rabbids, it went on sale very often, more than any other Mario game ever. Because Nintendo games don't generally go on sale. They very rarely go on sale, but Lego games and Ubisoft games and all those, all those fun types, pretty much every other game company puts their games on sale very often. And this is definitely no exception. So, I probably wouldn't recommend getting any version of this game day one because it'll be on sale very soon. Especially not the, like, intense collector's editions unless you're really into this game and you know you're gonna love it. Like, if you're loving what you're seeing now, that's great, get it. If you're craving for a driving game like this and you love LEGO, go ahead, get it. If you just want to burn $120, you could probably burn it on another- Whoa! 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 My car just completely exploded. Now, one other thing for, uh, the Switch fan base here on the LEGO 2K Drive. Oh, whoa, 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 these guys are driving in mugs. Anyways, you might you might have heard about this other game that's uh, been coming out, or that came out last Friday. Today is Tuesday. Last Friday, a brand new game came out, which is debatably the biggest game on Switch ever. And uh, that, of course, I'm referencing Tears of the Kingdom. And uh, yes, Tears of the Kingdom, I mean, this is, it's very bold of this company to release this game less than a week after Tears of the Kingdom came out, at least for the uh, collector's edition, and then the, uh, not the collector's edition, the the awesome edition is what they call it. If you're really into this game, you might have needed to pause your Tears of the Kingdom gameplay, like I have, to review this game. But you know that's okay. I'm I'm enjoy I'm enjo so far I'm enjoying this game. And if, again, if you like Lego and you like racing games, then I'm sure you will too. But we continue to go through the uh, through all this. Yeah, I've I've noticed something. There's like checkpoints that guide you through the track to make sure you don't get lost, which is actually pretty helpful. I find that sometimes in other kart racers, like like Mario Kart, especially Crash Team Racing, if you haven't played the track before it is very difficult to know the direction you're going and it's easy to just slam into a wall and get lost this game has made it very easy for me to know where i'm going again it is it's not for kids it's for everyone but it does allow maybe younger players younger players than me obviously to know where everything is going and it just makes it for a larger audience to enjoy this game all right and then we got the transform mechanic we're playing hydro thunder now let me know in the comments if you know what hydro thunder is and if you've ever played it let me know in the comments if you're enjoying this so far we got donuts flying around every whoa look at this guy's car man i really wanted i really want a new car I'm, my cars look cheap compared to all these man i'm liking this transform mechanic whoa it's just going back and forth between the boat and the uh an atv is that an atv i think it is yeah dune buggy no that's not a dune buggy yeah atv i'll say mm, blast off Look at those wheels. Look how they're just kind of going up and down. I'm really interested to find out about the, the building mechanic, the garage mechanic in this game. Fortunately, I can't show you off in this video, like I've said. Oh! Oh, oh, I thought I won there for a second. That was a close one. Splash. There we go. Let's go. Yeah! Hi, Diddy. Hi, Diddy. Hint. Only pros can make it through the car wash shortcut. Oh, man. Look at airport big butt. <laughs> Such funny joke. <laughs> oh, so funny. The Lego Company games are so silly. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, everything just kind of flies when the when the game starts. We boosty woosty. Look at this. I like the, I like how it just is like, kind of like a, whoa, 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 okay. There's lots going on. Okay, all right. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I know I'm saying whoa a lot, but like, come on. Yeah, all right, I'm getting the hang of this. All these, all this good old drifting. Of course, I'm only in class C, but, and I'm barely winning in class C, but at least I'm feeling like I'm achieving something. What is going on? What? I'm not really sure what the ghost is. I think that just means I can't get hit by anyone and get thrown off by the momentum. Whoa. Yeah, I think this game would be a lot of fun if it looked good. I mean, it looks, it looks good. Again, if you don't care for graphics, this looks amazing, but I do, I do care for graphics. My car's just kind of getting rebuilt. Yeah, it would be really fun to play 
play this game on the PS5 just because I think it really sell the experience more. Now, the frame rate is 30, which in the uh, in the gaming industry or the gaming, not the gaming industry, the racing gaming industry uh, could be preferred for some of you. Some people like 30 frames per second. Some people genuinely like 30 frames per second for racing games because it makes the game feel faster in some cases. The response time might be a little, uh, maybe a little different. I mean, not really noticeably different, especially if you're playing just casually like I am. But uh, yeah, some people like playing 30 frames per second in racing games. And some racing games, like Crash Team Racing, on all versions of the game, uh, make the stylistic choice to have 30 frames per second on all versions of the game, even if they're able to do, even if they're able to do 60, because they think it looks, makes the game look cool. They, may, they think the aesthetic looks cool in, in 30 frames per second. And uh, the way that Disney Speedstorm covered up the lower frame rate was a very good use of motion blur. Now, I'm not seeing much motion blur on this game at all, actually. I wonder if there's a graphic setting I could change. Oh, that's it. Did I win? What the heck is going on here? Is it glitched? I think it's glitched right now. No one's even on the podium. I guess there's a few kinks they still got to fig figure out for this game. Quickly looking at the uh, video settings. Oh, motion blur is on. There is a motion blur setting, which is on. Okay, never mind about the... Mo I mean, the motion bl I mean, the motion blur just, you know, could be better, I guess. I didn't notice it that well. Anyways, that's going to be it for LEGO 2K Drive today. Those were fun few rounds. I'm going to continue to play this game pretty much all day and then write my review and and make sure you stay tuned to my main channel where you can see if this game is best on Switch. And if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing. It would really help me out. And uh, let me know if you're going to get this game on day one or maybe you're going to wait for sale or uh, maybe you're not interested in, in this game at all. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. See you later.